Hey, it's Nikki here and I'm making a video today about my move to LA because a lot of people been hitting me up and asking me, how did you get to LA? How is it and how do you like it? And what do I need to do to make it possible for me to move to LA? So I decided I'm gonna make a video, especially because I haven't made one of these videos in a long time. And I do want to start making more videos about my move to LA because I feel like there's not a lot of information out there and everyone can use some kind of tips and, and knowledge before they pick up and move um, from, from one state to another. For me, I know I researched a lot before I moved to LA and I felt like I still was lacking some knowledge until I actually came out here to visit. Um, since I made my last video, as you notice, I don't have hair anymore. This has nothing to do with my move to LA. Um, it just has something to do with the fact that I wanted to big chop because my hair was damaged after, <sighs> after getting it straightened. That's for another video. Anyways, <laughs> so tips that I have for moving to LA is do your research. Do your research, do your research, do your research. If you have any friends out here, ask them questions. You can even reach out to me. I'll leave my Instagram information and you can reach out to me on there. Um, you can message me on YouTube, whatever. Just reach out to me. I will, I will respond as soon as I can. So make sure you research. What's your reasons to want to move to LA? Is it because you're pursuing acting? Did you want to be a part of Hollywood in the entertainment business? Are you just trying to get out of your hometown and live somewhere new because you want a new start? Like, what's your reason? And find out your reason. My reason was because I wanted to be an actress and I'm currently pursuing that dream as well as um, writing and I want to write my own TV shows and all that stuff. So. LA is the place to be when you're trying to um, succeed in the entertainment industry. I'm from Philadelphia and Philadelphia is up and coming with the entertainment, but I know LA is where it's at and it's more fast paced. And honestly, I had to get out of Philly as well. Um, New York is right next door to Philly, but it's more theater based and, and Broadway. So I want to do television movies as well as theater too but my main focus is on on television and film so i knew i had to move out to la to succeed in that in that goal so the fact that i wanted to pursue acting so bad it made it even more of a what's the word i'm looking for it made it even more necessary, I guess, for me to go out and do my homework about um, LA. So the first thing I did, like I said, was research, and and I and I found my reason why why do I want to live in LA? I've never been to LA. Have you been to LA? If you haven't, then you need to find the reason of why you want to be there. You can't just be like, oh, I just want to pick up and go because. LA looks so glamorous on TV because honestly it's not. It is a great place to live. The weather is nice, but it's a whole different culture. And um it's different, honestly. If you're from the East Coast, you will be able to tell the differences, but it is a great place to live. But if you're not moving out here for the right reasons, you might not like it. Um so that's important. Figure out your reasons of why you want to move out here another thing is well you need to have a plan for me my plan was as soon as i graduated from college i was going to save up my money and move to california within a year a lot of people were like oh that's not enough time you need more time so you can save up 20 grand that's my dad voice <laughs> but yeah my parents especially my dad was saying that I needed to save up at least 
15 to 20 grand before I decided to move across the country because he wanted me to, to have that money to sit on just in case anything happened. Um, so I did aim for that and I saved up and I think, let's see, I saved probably close to $8,000. Um, my goal was to move September 2014 and in July 2014, I had $8,000 saved, or maybe less than that. Yeah, it might have been less than that. Maybe $6,000. I don't remember, but it wasn't that $15,000 range that I was trying to reach. I might have, if I would have tried to, you know, keep saving up till September, I might have had the eight grand, but it was a lot going on. And what I'm about to say is, in July 2014 I got in a car accident so I had to buy a whole new car it wasn't it was new but I bought a used car and I put five grand towards that and it took a lot of my savings that I had saved up for California so things happen and I was really um, discouraged at the time like oh my gosh I'm supposed to be moving September 2014 I wasn't trying to change my date whether people were telling me um that it wasn't enough time i you have to stick to your date and you have to stick to your gut i'm a religious person and god spoke to me and told me that's when i'm supposed to be moving so i was going to stick to it regardless at the time after buying the car i only had probably like two three grand left and i was upset i was devastated that like why why would i get in a car accident a few months before I plan on moving to California but everything works out for the good and everything happens for a reason that's what I really believe because after I had a car accident I bought a new a newer car than what I had It's actually so much nicer than what I had and the price that I put towards it um, the amount that not the price the amount that I spent towards that was actually worth it um, and thank God because God really I knew God wanted me to move out to LA because as soon as um as soon as that car accident happened and I had to use some of my money from my California savings to buy a new car, God provided another um path for me. And that path was to apply for a job that was out here. And let me explain. Basically, the job that I was working at had opened up a new office in California. And I applied and I got the position. So I was able to relocate. And guess what? When? When did I relocate? September 2014, like God told me. I relocated in 2014 and I moved out here with that job. So you have to make a plan. If you're a religious person like me or spiritual or you believe in God or something, um, pray, pray about it and and ask God if this is the right thing to do because you, you need to make sure you confide in God first before you make any decision on your own because I've had, I have other stories about my experience here and I'll just um, tell that in a different uh, video but basically there are times where I don't hear from God and I move before I even hear from him and that kind of puts me that puts me back waiting on God and waiting on what his plans for me so make sure you have a plan if you have a job and wherever you're located see if they have other offices in a different location um in California Los Angeles area wherever you are trying to move this is mainly for people that want to move to Los Angeles. So see if they have locations where you can relocate. If not, maybe you should try to apply to places because it will be so much easier on you if you have a job lined up. But if you don't, make sure you save money. Um, thank God that even though I did try to save money, I was still provided another opportunity to move out here. But I do believe my dad was right when it came to having money saved ahead of time because right now I can use that money. And, and you never know what happens or what's gonna happen in LA um, because the cost of living is a little bit higher and 
you just never know so it's just better to be safe than sorry so make sure you plan 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 um give yourself some time don't try to pick up and move within the month give yourself a year six months at least and just give yourself time before you just try to pick up and go another thing is um visit first i actually visit i visited a uh, la in august to find an apartment and i actually have a roommate which was my old co-worker so it was easier for me when it came to living expenses because i was splitting a, a bunch of stuff with her even with moving all my furniture as you can see we split that but my job also um reimbursed this which was great so make sure you visit when i visited LA I was in love I was like oh my gosh it's so great I didn't want to leave I was like no this is my new home I can't leave but um you know I had to go back home pack up my stuff and say my goodbyes <sighs> just kidding but yeah so make sure you come out here check it out first because you may not like it LA is a whole different ball game and if you're from I don't know a small town LA is huge it has so many different cultures and it has a lot of stuff going on a lot of traffic uh, it's it's a lot <laughs> but if you're from New York and you're coming to LA you might like it because it's it's kind of it's not the same honestly New York is different but um when it comes to like the fast-paced life it is on the I guess the same level a little bit but LA is so spread out so the next thing I wanted to say was if you have a car figure out like how you're gonna get that over here um, you can hit me up I have some moving companies and in car people that I use to ship my stuff out here but um if you don't have a car maybe you should work on that first before you move out to LA because it is so difficult to get around in LA without a car. Yeah, you could Uber and Lyft, but that's gonna be so costly and it's not worth it. So make sure you have a car because having a car out here makes everything so much easier because everything is so far. Let me tell you, I live in Woodland Hills and that is like 40 minutes from everything because of traffic. So I have to drive everywhere. I've never taken a bus or a train here in LA and I don't plan on it because there are no really buses or trains in my area. It's so spread out. The public transportation is like different. So you can look into that too if you don't have a car and you still are like, I want to move to LA, fine, but check um, the public transportation out so you can see what I'm talking about in that it's not as easy as it looks. Um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's all the things that I did. When I visited out here, I stayed for a few days. I didn't stay for enough days, so we were kind of rushing when it came to finding an apartment. So, give yourself an, enough time where you can find an apartment, get a feel of LA, you know um, do your tourist thing and just see if this is a place for you like I said if you're a religious person pray about it pray to see if this is in God's will for you because you don't want to move all the way out here and hate it and then have to move all the way back home or what whatever or be miserable because I can admit my first year I wasn't miserable but it was hard because I left a lot of my friends and my family so I missed out on a lot and I didn't have friends here I had my co-worker but we don't have that much in common so it was just like I don't have anybody and it gets lonely sometimes a lot of times I've been really upset and I've cried and said dang like I really sacrificed a lot just to be out here so you just have to make sure it's the right choice and don't get me wrong I really do love it out here since then I've met so many amazing people I've joined a church 
and I've been able to blossom. So I can't say that I um, regret it at all because I don't. Um, I'm going to make more videos, more structured videos. I just did this at the drop of a dime because it was on my mind. And I'm not trying to rhyme, but I am rhyming. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. So I just made this video just to help out some people that have reached out to me about moving to LA. Um, if you want to look at apartments and stuff like that, you can check it out on Craigslist, apartments.com, all those places to see the price range of apartments in LA to see the cost of living and compare it and see how much you might have to save up. So yeah, do that. <laughs> Make sure you research, research, and research. If you have any questions, hit me up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And Snoop says bye to. That's my dog in the corner. Looking all weird. <laughs> bye, y'all. Ignore my messy house, but whatever. I don't care. Bye.